Hello, my name is Father Jacob Rouse, and I'm the Associate Pastor at Epiphany Parish in Mason City, Iowa, in the Archdiocese of Dubuque. When I first joined seminary, they handed me this book and said, Here, learn how to pray. This is the prayer of the church. All right. So a couple weeks later, I was going on a uh, retreat with some college friends and other seminarians, and I just casually chucked this book in the back seat with the rest of the luggage, and someone piped up and said, That's no way to treat your girlfriend. And I thought, what a strange thing to say to a young and experienced and scared seminarian. And I soon realized that this was an ancient inside joke with seminarians, that this book, which is the prayer of the church and known as the breviary, is affectionately named the girlfriend. This is because if we're using the analogy of marriage and priesthood, that the seminary and training process for priests is also like the dating process. If you're going to cultivate a relationship with your beloved, then you need to spend a lot of time with that person. And so, since, as you can imagine, we priests are marrying the Bride of Christ, which is the church, we spend a lot of time in prayer and in churches. Primarily, this is a four-week rotation of psalms that we pray five times a day. It is also called the Liturgy of the Hours. Liturgy is a Greek word that means the work of the people. This is because the ancient pagan Greeks and Romans would require everyone in the land to come and pay and pray and help set up for public worship experiences and uh, sacrificial rituals. But just as we Catholics like to do, we adopted, stole, and baptized, baptized that process, and now we call it the liturgy. Every time we join and partake in any type of liturgy, we are spiritually united to everyone else on the planet doing that same liturgy. Every single time I open up this book to pray, someone else is closing it and putting it down. Every time you attend the liturgy of the Mass, someone else around the world is also attending the liturgy of the Mass. It's one of the great things about being Catholic and being united in our baptism as Christians. Finally, because she was my girlfriend, I gave her a case and I gave her a rose. That's all I have to say. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always.